goes from like zero to like 200 once that gets pumping season two episode three we're hitting it hard i mean still sponsorless still sponsorless <laughs> do you think anybody really cares that it's season two um i mean we do i do yeah us yeah. three so like, oh, you i mean, mean the, I, the I, listeners? I i care too so like at least 30 percent of our listeners yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the only listeners. <laughs> but hey, to be honest, I've had a, f- a little bit of feedback. Uh, I had at least 25 people reach out to me and thank me for explaining the TV deals last week. They no just, way. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not listen I, to us bumble our way through that? <laughs> I, I had I had a lot of – actually, I had a couple people uh, tweet at me uh, the technical stuff for the camera. Oh, did you? Actually? Nope. No. Oh, no. man. You know what, though? Uh, we're getting some. We're getting some hits. We're getting some bits. And you know what? It's when you go away for a long time, we're in a we're in a fast paced world and people will they'll forget. They'll kick you to the curb. Well listen, we, we are the number one Dallas Cowboys Canadian camp yeah, podcast yeah. out that there. That is true. Yeah, you can yeah. find you can find us anywhere. And what what's the uh the insta? Instagram, the fastest growing Dallas Cowboys Instagram. I'm not even gonna call myself a fan page. I, I guess I'm I'm more of a meme page, not a fan page. Uh Dallas Your Cowboys. Media. Yep, Dallas Cowboys Cam fan on Instagram. Uh we got YouTube, AJ, YouTube, what is it? YouTube is uh, youtube.com slash Dallas. Actually, you know what? Just search Dallas Cowboys Can Fan. It's kinda gets kinda fucked up when you go to search it. It goes to a bunch of like Fan reaction videos, but we'll get that. We'll get there. The more hits we get, I know we you, just have you, so many fans. You have to have over a hundred subscribers in order to be able to custom URL. What do subscribe. we have? What do subscribe. we have? Sub it up. It helps us get on there. Our last video had a uh, hundred thousand views, so get on, get, get on there, on watch it. it. Hundred thousand views. It did, yeah. So you got to subscribe to that shit. Oh wow, we are killing it. We're in the double digits. We're double we're, digit subscribers. Yeah, we got ten. Ten, yeah. So, so all we need is. Uh, is 90 more? <laughs> is 10% more? Okay, let's jump into some Cowboys talk. Hey, but we, yeah. appre- we appreciate all you. We Ken. do. We love you guys. Uh, listen on, uh, if you're listening on, uh, what is it? Amazon, Apple Podcast, uh, Spotify. Subscribe, I-Heart. download it. iHeart. It helps us get us on those charts, bitches. Deezer? All right. Does anybody listen on Deezer? I don't even know what Deezer is. <laughs> title? Okay, so. What's that title? Yeah. Quibby. Fellas, let's, yeah, get, let's into get into some it. Cowboys talk. So. Last what did, when did we film? Last Friday, I think it was. Yes. So and then we usually don't post our uh, podcast till Tuesday. So we did miss a really big signing that did happen over. I think it was. I think it happened on Saturday. It was Keanu Neal. The uh, the Cowboys signed him for a one year deal. He is a safety, a hard hitting motherfucker. Uh, well, I'm kind of giving the logistics. AJ, you should mm-hmm. get his highlight up. You guys need to see some of his hits here. Yeah, because uh, I, I don't even know who we're talking about here. I kay. see I see you post it. Yeah, okay. So Keanu Neal, he's from – he actually didn't play oh, last Atlanta, year. Oh, Atlanta, right? Yeah, he didn't play last year because uh, he tore his Achilles. But the guy is a beast. He brings the goddamn hit stick. And I really, really like the signing because they, they plan on playing him at uh, weak side linebacker. And he's played in Dan Quinn's defense before. Dan Quinn was the Atlanta Falcons head coach. Okay, watch some of these hits. Let's check it out. This guy does not fuck around. You know what? Um, I mean, my, some oh, of my... You just, you just went 2021 highlights, though. So he only played, like, five games. Oh, so we want the season highlights. Yeah, just, like, his... Not even season, just his, like, career highlights, just so you guys can get a feel of who, who can, we got here. Can you get it together? You're about to get us fired Check from this, this out. podcast. <laughs> really close, actually. I'm going to go upstairs and see if Lindsay wants to come down and... She doesn't know how to use YouTube. Okay. <laughs> you get you get my son to come in here and he'll he'll be yeah, able to well, run everything for you for his uncle. So I actually look at that. Oh. I actually love this signing. Uh, it's a little bit con- controversial that they're not going to play him at safety. The Cowboys are actually planning on playing him at weak side linebacker. Mm-hmm. But I love it. 
So wh- but everything wh- that we're seeing in these highlights, he's coming up to the line. He's stopping he, guys in the backfield. So exactly. It's like he's, he's basically playing a look at that a linebacker he, role. He's playing. He's playing in the box. We all know my boy Jalen Smith can't do that shit. So we're bringing in some reinforcements here, and well, and I love it. Why Why isn't he playing uh, safety? Uh, well, thank you for that segue, dear brother. Uh, the Cowboys actually. Signed two other safeties. They they picked up uh, Demonte Casey to a one year contract and uh, J. Ron Kierce. Uh, and actually, Casey is another Atlanta Falcon. So he's actually played under our now defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, who was the head coach for the Atlanta Falcons. So, so they're going to be able to come in and be right into that system. So obviously, that's probably a big reason why they signed signed the guys because because Quinn knows he has a repertoire. What, he knows what they what they're capable of. Hundo P. Interesting. So. Now, what are we looking at for the uh, safeties for in so we'll have in Dallas? I think it'll be. It was actually kind of getting a little muddy there because last year we had uh, Xavier Woods, and then our oncoming of D- uh, Donovan Wilson, who was uh, I think he only started about eleven games last year, but he's another hard hitter, young dude. Yeah, Rookie. yeah, he's, I think he's in his second year. He was in his second year last year. He's a really hard hitter, and he kind of surpassed Xavier Woods. But once you brought in all these other safeties, it was kind of like, well, who's going to play where and do what? When then you hear them bringing up um, Neil up to the weak side linebacker, you go, okay, well, then that only sticks. Now you have Xavier Woods and uh, Donovan Wilson back at safety. But then they sign Casey, who's also a safety. So now you go, okay, well, there's three guys, two, two positions. Well, Xavier Woods just got signed by the Minnesota Vikings. So get fucked, Woods. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got, we, now we have our starting safeties pretty much. You're going to have um, Donovan Wilson at probably, I'd say, Free safety? No, probably sh- yeah. Free safety, and then you'll have uh, Casey at strong safety. Here's here's a stupid question for guys like me. Or wait, what's here's the difference? A que- here's a question for stupid guys like me. Well, <laughs> define stupid. It's like stupid uh, okay. because you d- you don't watch football. No, uh, well, I do watch football, but I do watch football and I play a lot of Madden. Okay, Hell yeah. So Madden, free safety. Strong safety. What are the qualities that you, that that we want in now, each one of those? You, now you're putting me on the spot. I'm, I better just make sure I'm not talking out of my ass here. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to sorry to do that, but the what we're seeing though a lot of these times is that these these safeties are also having to be. I don't See, know. If I had like, it. I had it backed up. So a strong safety. This is the things. Strong safety is a guy that's going to play up in the run game, and kind of act as like a, a run stopper. And then your free safety is going to be the guy that's if you had if you're playing a deep thirds like a th- cover three you'd have your corners drop back into a third of the field and then you'd have your uh, free safety in the middle like an Ed Reed or a Troy Polamalu they're okay. kind of free range so and but the but the so, okay so exactly so that so what we're seeing with a lot of safeties or what I'm I'm seeing is that they need to be also almost be that like what fourth or fifth uh, linebacker position. Oh, yeah. They have to be able to hit. The free safety is going to be your s- literal free safety. He's going to kind of be like your fourth. <laughs> he's your fourth, like, DB. So he's yeah. not a good enough to – he's not good enough to be corner. He's not fast. He's not probably. fast enough to be corner, but he's good enough to be, like, back there, digest a, a play, and react. And, and I mean, my understanding of safeties is, like, they're, they're like, they're, 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 Fast dudes, but they can also hit, so they can lo- loosen the ball up a lot oh, more than your cornerbacks. And, and as a defensive player, if you're gonna have a hit, like a a highlight reel hit, it's gonna be from your probably your strong safety. Yeah, yes. because, yeah, because they're the ones who are just uh, scanning the field, and then they're gonna and, wait till they and they can bring the boom because most of the time they can hit like linebackers, but they can run like corners mm-hmm. so they're yeah. gonna take guy. Well, it's not as but bad they're as just it used a little. Maybe they're just not as quick as like what a corner should be. And they're not as big as 100%. what a linebacker hundred percent, but they're like that perfect. Middle. But Dallas is really, uh, in the last, I'd say since Darren Woodson, he was their really last true seat, like decent safety. Dallas has not had luck with safeties in the last 15 years. And it's really hurt our defense. So this is good. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that it sucks. They're all on one year deals. Maybe it's kind of a prove it because they're coming off of Achilles injuries, which is a big injury, but it might also be a stop gap. Well, they draft a uh, safety in, you know, round two to five. And yeah. then he has a year to learn under these guys that are all, you know, five-year NFL veterans. Well, you can – you if, if the rapport is good, then you can sign them again for another year or two next year. 100%. And if it's not, you don't got to worry yeah. about them. So, so yeah. Yeah. Um, so, 
the safeties are locked up. You've got that covered. Covered. But now we want to talk about, okay, then who are we drafting? Um, there's two, there's two videos that I can pull up for you. The first one would be who we think is Dallas is going to get is Sertan. Sertan. Yeah. Or yep. Patrick PS2. We, we, let's look at both of them. Okay. Let's check let's, it out. Let, let's, let's look at Sertan. The, the other, the other one that I want to look at, we'll, we'll talk about in so a second. So a lot of, a lot of the, the mock drafts at the moment are pretty much giving, giving us Sertan. And this is his, uh, what is this? This is his pro day. This is his pro day, yes. He was the SEC Defensive Player of the Year in 2020. The guy looks like a goddamn wide receiver. And he's in his skibbies. He's <laughs> running in his skibbies. Hey, I ain't hating. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, look. look he's dude. a gazelle. That's chiz. That is chiseled. My goodness. That eh? is some man meat right there, Boyle. I'm not even mad at being impressed by that. Mm-mm. Now he's now he just pops off eighteen bench reps. I almost think this is more impressive than his four four six forty. A cornerback being able to bench press two twenty five eighteen times, that is that's really impressive. So why why this is important? Why how this would this would really give you a real concrete um, DB like your secondary? Yeah, it would lock down that. Oh man, he 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 would be a day one starter. Fun little tidbit. Uh, Diggs is was our dig our uh, Trevon Diggs, our second round pick last year, was actually his teammate in college, so we would actually have them back mm. as a ta- as a duo, which would be awesome. They were great, great in, in uh, university together, and I imagine they'll have NFL success. Roll Tide, Roll Tide. Um, okay, now he ran a four four six. Yeah, and what about this monster? Okay, so shocked waves through the NFL community, Kyle pits oh this is what you were posting on your ig this is what i was posting on the dallas cowboys can fan ig page hit it up if you haven't follow um this guy is six foot six 246 pounds and he's running at the same speed as a 202 pound cornerback now whoever's doing the video for this guy they need to- <laughs> there must be th- <laughs> but th- this is an actual columbine uh, no, com- no, this is pro day, so it's definitely combine. combine. <laughs> this it's... is the Columbine video. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's def- definitely is not. <laughs> what they have said is that you can minus point two off of the time on non pro days to um or non combine. Sorry to read to read the uh, read the because the it's header. Hand. Read the header. The header, insane. Kyle Pitts runs a 4.46 at his workout. Fire, fire, fire emoji. Bless, bless, bless emoji. Please fall to the Cowboys. And you know what? If he does fall to 10, I just don't know how you pass up on him. Well, Be- it's because of his uh, his size and his speed and his agility. He's an athletic monster. He's a, he's like a LeBron James. Okay, so we, we chatted about this a little bit before, Anth, and... It's kind of like, okay, you either go all in on your offense, you've got that DAT contract, you've got the running back. Um, I mean, I think your wide receivers are arguably in the top 10 tandem, top four. five tandem, four. top four tandem. Three. Sure. They're, they're, Two. they're damn good. One. <laughs> <laughs> Some people would. And we see that. But, um, you know, adding a, a killer, like then you're just all in on offense and it's like, okay, you have to score more than 35, 28. Then now you've built your yeah. team that way. You're not, I mean, if you can play defense, well, hell, the, hell yeah. But you are basically saying we're going to put up 28 points no matter what. You match us. Yep. Match us, bitch. And uh, Kansas City got the Super Well, that's Bowl the thing. That Kansas way. City, and that's exactly, exactly. If you can build an offense that's firing on, on all cylinders, and sometimes then your offense can actually be your best defense because – Boom. You can either run, you can play possession, or you can score fast, so you're tiring out the other team's defense, or you're keeping the other team's offense off the field. So it's, and it's, it's a good way to build the team if it, if it works out. Exactly, and your coordinator, Dan Quinn, is a previously a head coach, so he's got, he knows how to get his players motivated for, for the well, playoffs. Well, not even that. You know, who, you know who he was a coordinator for before he was the head coach for Atlanta. He was the Legion of Boom for Seattle. There you go. So the guy obviously can coach defense. He's just pro- not. He's not a 
It's not a head coach. Well, I mean, he still brought the Atlanta Falcons to the Super Bowl. No, that's true, yeah. Like, and it, lost in one of the most incredible like, ways. <laughs> nine out of ten yeah. times that same. <laughs> nine out of ten times with that same score, they're winning. You know, like maybe even more, maybe 9.9 times. Exactly. So You have to have someone named TB12. <laughs> Don't start talking about Tom Brady, because <laughs> guess who's going to be all over these nuts? Yeah, the Brady ball. Tease. Tees nuts. Now Tease nuts. over tees nuts. And there's also this uh, Micah Parsons. Okay, is he, he first round? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I have kind of a. I didn't have Kyle Pitts. I have three guys that I would want if they if they're there. I want uh, Sertan, Micah Parsons, or Caleb uh, Fairley. If Kyle Pitts is there now, he kind of muddies my water. I don't know if I get any four of those guys, I'll be happy. Micah Pitts, he's back, or sorry, Micah Parsons, he's another athletic freak. He's a linebacker. He's kind of like a, I mean, I, I'm probably going to get sewered for saying this. He's kind of like a Lawrence Taylor. Like, it's just open up the gates and go. Yeah. Like, it's not like he's not dropping back to intercept the ball. He's, I'm running full speed the whole time. If he's on the field, you, he's just you a know what he's doing. He's just yeah. a heat seeker. He's just trying to track the ball and get the motherfuckers, right? He's not... You just let him do his thing because he's such an athletic freak. But he does come with baggage. I mean, LT obviously came with a lot of baggage. But if he's there, I'm I like I like linebackers. But I, I don't know. I, I'll just be happy with any of them. It seems like between Micah and um, Sertan and I, uh, Parsons and Sertan, or C- Sertan 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 Sertan. Uh, it seems like they're gonna fill the same um need need they are like li- our linebacker in core right now could use a uh, shot in the ass right like they're just not and i mean if you look at him looks like he's you know i'm not saying anything but he is maybe he's jacked, got a couple shots in his ass right you know exactly I mean? <laughs> so you know you just never know um i'll be happy with any of these guys uh i think i still would like rather go defense over pits but if pits is there it would be like i know jerry jones that old bastard is going to be wanting to take that big Big weapon. Okay, Anth, I do want us to get to the that mock draft that we were looking at earlier, but let's let's talk about Claypool. Let's step. Away, let's let's take a second. Let's step yeah, let's away. Step away, 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 from, step away from the Cowboys. From the Cowboys. Ooh, 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 ooh. But guess what? We're we're talking about a Canadian boy. Well, good... and actually, not even just a Canadian boy. He's actually from the hometown, or he's from. The town I live in. His hometown is where I'm living right now. I couldn't have said that any weirder. <laughs> yeah, he's from Abbotsford. <laughs> he's from Abbotsford, BC. You want to Abby say, what? You want Abby to what? <laughs> Abby what? So you're walking into the Safeways. If, if for anyone who doesn't know, that's kind of like a Kroger's, I guess, or a Trader Joe's. Uh, <laughs> Kroger's. <laughs> I'm just throwing out America. No, no, I'm throwing Ralph's. out American. It'd, it'd be like a Ralph's. A Ralph's. I, I've never Kroger's even, not. Anyways, I've never even heard of Ralph's, but yes, I know what you're saying. Why don't you say People, Walmart? Everybody knows okay, what Walmart can is. I do a quick Claypool story? It's kind of funny. So I'm I'm, in, I'm doing it anyways. I'm at the pub. I know this one already. Do you know? Okay. It, was, it was in my group chat. <laughs> I'm at the pub, and I'm sitting down with my friend, and we're just chatting. And you were with Vink. I, was it Vink? Okay, I'm yeah. sitting with Vink, and I'm chatting with him, and we're watching the football highlights, and this dude is by himself, which is not unnatural to see in a in a pub in Chilliwack for a guy just to be sitting by himself at 12 o'clock in the <laughs> yep. day yep. drinking a beer. And he wanders over to us and he like shoves his phone in my face and he's like, look, my, my nephew. <laughs> and he's just a, as Canadian as can be like Canadian tuxedo, like some oh, sort of flannel. Yeah, exactly. And he shoves his, and he's like, Oh my, my uh, nephew Claypool is, he's in the NFL. And he showed me a highest. I, I'm not looking at it. I'm just counting in my head like till 30 seconds so I can hand the phone back and be like, oh, that looks awesome. (laughs) But then like funny thing is two weeks later, season's going or maybe it's four weeks later and Claypool has his first big game. He had like the four touchdowns. Yeah, massive game. Someone at the pub that day tells me uh, another buddy. Maybe it was Vink again. Actually, we'll just use Vink for the story's sake. Tells me, hey. That dude was there and running around to everyone, yeah, telling him he's his nephew. Yeah. His like, I just hate to do that because you know he never even visited his nephew. Yeah, like, the, fun, <laughs> the it's funny that you because we have the same story because I'm in a uh, uh, fantasy football league with said Vink, mm-hmm. and so throughout the season, whenever Claypool uh, Claypool scored a touchdown, the group chat would just go nuts with "That's my nephew." <laughs> <laughs> so it was like a running joke, and none of us were even there. And it's funny that you were also part of that. Yeah. But anyways, we got uh he got into a little bit of trouble here by and the it, looks of it. 
they're they're calling it a bar brawl. It looks pretty. It doesn't really look like a bar it brawl. It's like bad. a parking lot scuffle. It's a, a bunch of dudes who are dressed up pretty nice. No one wants to get their clothes ripped. And not to bust your bubble, but if this was you back then, Shirt this off. was not be. <laughs> oh yeah, why? Why are what tarps are on here? Like tarps shirt, off. If you're scrapping outside a bar, you can't have your shirt on. Oh yeah, no, no, I would be nervous. <laughs> tarps like, off, boys. Well, here, here, here's Claypool. Here, he starts getting into it. It doesn't look like he's really I doing think... anything. But watch, watch here. He boots the guy. He gives a little kick, and it's not a strong kick. No, it's kind of a bitch, bitch kick. Looks like it it's hits a him massive in the face, bitch though. kick. It's but then like watch a... this guy that comes at him and just falls down. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're if you're one of Chase Claypool's, uh, you know, crew there, you're not you're not going to let him <laughs> like, look, you can see. So if you watch the video, we're watching it from TMZ Sports mm-hmm. and uh, they they isolate who uh, Claypool is. And then when you see him back, he backs away because he's like, OK, I, you know, this guy's coming at me. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> the guy falling down is just so good. But here's what I love. I that don't think wasted. I saw anyone throw a one punch? No. face no. punch. It was a lot of grabbing and yep. pushing. And then a little bitch kick. And the little Who's bitch fighting? Kick. They're actually yeah. saying that. Could you hear that? You, the, what are they turn, saying? Turn, turn, turn it up. Stop. Grab the, turn, turn it up. I okay. Know. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, stop. Who's just fighting? The, just at the very end, have it. Just at the very end. Oh, now we're into something else. Hang on a sec. Shit. But back to what we yeah. were saying before. I gotta find that clip to yeah. as a soundbite. Who's yeah, yeah, fighting? Yeah. We'll throw back that. Back to what we were saying before about the twenty-two year old outside a bar. What twenty-two year old hasn't been outside a bar with some sort of altercation? Oh yeah, I mean it just happens that I mean obviously he's walking around with a target on his back. Costa Mesa. He, he was in Costa Mesa. Yeah, and obviously like this is any bar fight nowadays is going to be or any like scuffle is going to be recorded. Hunt, yeah. The only reason that this. Makes the news. And again, I call it a scuffle because it's not even a. It's not like a fight. It's his bar brawl. It's obviously clickbait. They want you to see punches, and there's no punches. Yeah, I'm disappointed, TMZ. But it I'm was, glad that you who, buy these tapes. Who was it that? <laughs> who yeah? Who who was it that uh, a couple weeks ago got into an actual like restaurant fight, and he was and he was using uh, like a stool to like smash somebody. <laughs> Was that Pac-Man Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, well, he's yeah, at yeah. well, fuck me. Of course it was Pac-Man Jones. Uh, that guy's such an idiot. They, 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 you could just type in Pac-Man Jones fights. He got into a fight with a guy in an airport in, like, broad daylight. It's like, what are you doing? So, But he's out of the NFL. He's been out of yeah. the NFL for a while. He doesn't get our time. He, does, he doesn't give a shit. You know what? One well, day, look. Still news, okay? Still news. Yeah, no, it is. And no, at, no, least, no. at least he, he wanted to dance, at least, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's. Well, get that's what back. I'm saying. Sorry that that was my that was my whole point. It wasn't like if you're gonna if if yeah. you are going to get in if you're gonna give a little bit of a shove with your like go all out. Yep. Thro- or throw some. Bo- if you're gonna throw a kick, don't wear Converse. Don't wear red Converse. <laughs> one, two. Put your fucking purse away and throw down. Tar- tarps off. Tarps Come off. On. Take tarps off. You tarps th- off like that. If you're gonna, if I don't see an American History X curb stomp, then oh, don't geez. even bother, bro. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated fast. All right, let's look at the first of uh, the NFL's first round mock draft. Now this is after Friday's trades. Although it says it was posted three days ago, I, I believe it was updated for that trade. So um, so this is an updated mock draft. Hang on. Let me double check that. I might have the wrong one. <laughs> I think I oh, have the wrong I one. Hear bo- or hear uh, cans popping. Pop it. This is the moment where all you can hear is me drinking. That's okay. Oh, here we go. Sorry. This is the right one, Ant. This is the updated one. There we go. The, the problem is that they all have this and this Trevor this Lawrence. Is, well, he's going number one. Yeah. What a supermodel. He's going number one 100% easily. So, so why do you do, think do, that? Do you, do you want to just, just go through this pick? Yeah, by pick? let's just go quickly here about uh, through this little mock draft. Do you think okay, he's going okay, do you, okay, do you to keep his hair? If yeah, he goes yeah, number he one? should. Hell yeah. So, yes. And do you think he's going to wear it in a, do you think he's gonna wear it in, no. a, in a pony? No. Oh, can he come into the league and can he put on his. Um, Sweatband, or yeah. is that owned by uh, uh, he, he, Baker? He, he won't. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe they're Baker's gonna have to. Like, they're gonna have to arm wrestle at center field to figure out who can I wear the know. headband. Yeah, yeah. But Baker, t- uh, who is the quarterback for, on the Bears that used to wear the headband? McMahon. McMahon. Jim yeah. McMahon. I don't know who this supermodel is, but he better take my headband off. <laughs> I mean, look, McMahon was the first <laughs> one to, to 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 toss it on, so you know Mayfield's copping it from him. 
Okay, go down the list. Okay. So we got Trevor Lawrence, Jacksonville, number one. Which is, I mean, everyone knows that's what's happening. Number two, we got Zach Wilson, the New York Jets. Makes sense. Yep. Now this is the this is where it gets, change up. Yeah, this is where it's Sam Fran traded up. So how did this work? Can you give us some back? I, yeah, I honestly get... haven't looked at it much. Give us uh, give us the numbers here, AJ. Let me find it real quick. Here we go. So this is the what's being called a blockbuster trade. Now, I always have time wrapping my head head around this. And but it's three-teamer. It's a three-teamer. Three-teamer. So the San, Fr- San Francisco 49ers acquired the number three selection in next month's draft. I'm reading this, by the way. This is not how I speak. From the Miami <laughs> Dolphins for a big haul of picks, including the Niners' original 2021 first pick at number 12, so out of the top 10, but still not... Not not terrible if you're not looking for a QB. And then the Dolphins move back up to number six from 12 in a separate trade with the Eagles. Which is huge for Cowboys Nation. And why? Because it takes uh, the, the NFC East completely out of the top 10 uh, besides Dallas. Dallas has a top 10 pick. Philly had the six. Now Philly's out of there. So we have a pretty good chance to get the player that we want. Obviously, teams trading into the top 10. Obviously, the people talking. Sorry, Sorry. what, what are you guys saying? Come closer. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we want to get that warm. There we, we go. We need yeah, we need yeah. to go over hand signals. Next <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time. So I was like, what? <laughs> Further? I actually did the opposite of what you guys wanted me to do. I was going like this. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought that meant Not I was this. talking. I thought it meant I was talking too close. Anyways, the reason it's good <laughs> is uh, Dallas is the only NFC East team with a top ten pick, and if teams are trading into the top ten, they're more than likely going to be taking a quarterback. It's actually well. When we look at this, we'll go. We'll be able to see how many. But this is the new draft order, and then we can hop back over to yep. that. So, in order from one to twelve: Jaguars, Jets, 49ers, which is a trade up, Falcons, Bengals, Dolphins from Philly, from Philly, Lions, Panthers, Broncos, Cowboys, Nation, Giants, Eagles. Yeah. E A G L E S. So I mean actually the Philly did Philly did a pretty good job in that trade. If they're not they're obviously not looking for a quarterback because they have Jalen Hurts. This draft's pretty deep in quarterbacks, so there's gonna be a lot of talent going a little later. It Philly's makes sense. they they're getting the twelfth pick and then they picked up another first round pick. You know, for me and then we'll Fuck hop them, into though. this. You know, I am so I would be so and and I want to bring this up. I know I said this last time, and 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 maybe it'll be fun to do in in a future cast. But I want to look at like the top quarterbacks who have been picked over the last ten years, let's say, and then let's find out how many of them actually did well. We're, we're good yeah, or worth well. a first round pick, right? Well, the, all I can tell you, I I got a little number action for you out of the 2016 NFL draft. All the quarterbacks taken. There's only one quarterback still. On his own fucking team. And who's that? My boy, number four, Dak Dakota Prescott. The only one. So, and he was a fourth round pick there. I think there was a uh, Dak attack. Six guys taken ahead of him. But I, let, I don't want to stray too far from the path. But that is like, I would like to do that. I would rather yeah, have be fun to look at. I would rather have a uh, a fourth round. Like that's where I would draft my quarterbacks. These, yeah, because the the um, you don't got to pay for them. Give them more to develop, more time to develop. I mean, well, you it, do have to pay for them in four years. But or, what ended the reason? Yeah, the reason that happened at the time, Tony Romo was the mainstay in Dallas at the time, and then there was some un- unforeseen circumstances. He hurt his back. He was out for you know ten weeks, and mm-hmm. Dak came in. Who Dak wasn't supposed to start that year. But he did. But I, I like that too. I, I still believe in the Aaron no Rodgers. Pressure. I believe in the Aaron Rodgers approach. Draft even even if you draft them in the first round, right? Maybe don't throw them to the wolves. Like that guy's going to Jacksonville. When we okay, yeah, the, we're, we're 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 only on pick three. <laughs> but this is what would be scary for me: Jacksonville and New York. I'm a quarterback. Like, I you, the expectation is so so much, and we see this with. Just the last two years, like you mentioned, since 2016, yeah. look at the quarterbacks who have been starters. Ro- what happened to Josh Rosen? Was he just trash? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he was. Maybe. But who knows? was he fed to the Wolves? Yeah, you know? fed to the Wolves. Well, I think out of these three quarterbacks that you're seeing in these top three picks here, mm-hmm. I think Trey Lance, that where this is obviously not where they're going, but in this mock draft, right. if a quarterback, and San Fran is probably taking a quarterback because they traded up, San Fran couldn't be a better place to go to right now with their team. 
They exactly. have such a good team, and they had a weird. They went what Super Bowl the year uh, two thousand nineteen. They were runner ups in the Super Bowl, also known as the the fucking loser. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, last season. year they had they had so many injuries and just had no chance. So, but they still have that team in place. You know, if I was Trevor Lawrence, I'd be trying to get myself a little bit of a uh, right? a Watson uh, news story going out right now, just to drop, <laughs> throw it, toss in your dangle in front <laughs> yeah, of everybody, just, throw it just out. to try to get dropped now. <laughs> uh, but not too, not no, just too like, bad. Just, yeah. thir- just, just to, so, just like sh- flashing your wiener <laughs> out. I flashed, yeah. yeah, a quick Where? flash at Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like not isolating like one set of people. No, 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 no. This is for everyone. Like, yeah, <laughs> just a, you know what? He'd still probably go first. Honestly, uh, yeah, exactly. Now, do you think it's an actual? Do you think it's a scandal if he was to like throw his wiener out on a video and then like post a video online by accident? Say, say feeling cute, might delete later. <laughs> yeah, or just or just oops, <laughs> oops, wrong one. Or like, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, oh leaked photos, leaked leaked nudes. The old yeah. the old Brett Favre, just send your wiener out. Yeah. But oh, it was it hey. was covered. It was that was tasteful. That it was a taste. Wow, I'm just looking okay. at this. Sorry, I'm just looking at this mock draft. They so, have so sorry. Pick three, San Francisco, Trey Lance. Yeah, Kyle Pitts to Atlanta, which I I, I can't believe, and I'm going to butcher his name. I always do. Panay Sewell. Is that, that's how? Sewell. Sewell. Uh, Sewell. I, I still think if you're Atlanta, you would still take this o- offensive tackle. And so Atlanta's um, – You always need great offensive tackles. No, no, absolutely, absolutely. But there is their offensive line – who cares? Super trash. You just say well, pick it up anyway. No, I'm just saying because if if they feel like they have, are you going to build? Beam, are you going to build a team around a tight end? No. You can build a team around a great offensive tackle. You need it. You need it because if you have your offensive tackle, he's basically the cornerstone for your quarterback, right? Yeah, but it's this thing with it's the mentality of the NFL where, I mean, you're they're just OTs are not sexy. They're not sexy. They're not but sexy. I think he exactly, should, yeah. I think he should. I I think Atlanta, if they passed on him, they'd be really dumb. But of course, Anth, this Pitts guy is just getting boost because of that four, um, four four six. Yeah. So, I mean, does he have the hands to? Perform? Oh yeah. Yeah, he does. I mean, with again with speed and size. But you're you're yeah. gonna you're gonna take a tight end over the best wide receiver in the the draft. It just seems weird to me. Who's the best wide receiver? Well, according to this, Jamar Chase. At uh, number six, the Dolphins are are scheduled to take that Jamar Chase, and then look who's right below him, Parsons. And that's who you want. So he's probably not gonna he's make. Probably it. not gonna make it. I the, the, like I said, Pitts and. Um, and uh, Parsons probably won't be around at ten, so that's ha- I'm gl- I'm glad. I hope they're not, because then it doesn't make it. It makes it an easy choice for me. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, then we're back to QBs with Justin Fields, which I saw, QB uh, one on, on a Netflix lot of, on a lot of drafts. He was a lot higher. Yeah, he's kind of fallen. He's kind like, of fallen. At the end of the college year last year, twenty twenty, he was a lot higher. He was looking at maybe second or third overall pick. Is he falling be- just because other quarterbacks are showing up? I don't really know. I didn't really dive into it. Not not to not to incre- not to make this like a super sized podcast, but how often do you get okay? So when a quarterback uh, is touted as like you know first round and they're great, and then they tank and they're they're junk, uh, you always hear about a quarterback or a running back or a wide receiver who was good in college, ranked high in the draft, and then they didn't do much. Do you ever hear of a lineman? Or like a defensive tackle who is touted in like first round pick, yep. and then they like, and then they they don't perform the way yep. they are. I, yeah, uh, one just can't think of his name right now. It was the Dolphins. They they had uh, their first overall pick or something a couple of years ago. He just got cut. So you do hear about it. It's just not as sexy as yeah. talking about the first overall quarterback right. that didn't make it right. A, a D tackle, you'll never take a D tackle in the first ten. I don't think, but I know I know what your point is. But you, like you, you do as a quarterback, you almost are you're set up to fail a little bit more. And when you do fail, people like to point it out a bit more than if you're a it's offensive tackle. It's not even. It's you're right. It's not even fail. It's just you are not reaching a lofty goal yeah. of either the expectations of uh, oh, management, me. the fans, whatever it might be, a collection of the two. Like that can really fuck up a kid's um, a career at, and. I would want to be in where Justin Fields is being drafted than having other guys. three quarterbacks ahead of you, hundred percent. Even though he might be a starter, probably. But if that's he, a, if he, gets if he went to Carolina. if he went to Carolina, that would be awesome. That's a great fit for that guy. Oh, Justin Fields, he's like a 
He's much better than Teddy Bridgewater, but still has those traits. He can throw, you know, the intermediate routes, but he can also get on his horse and run for. And Teddy's the. Teddy the, had a good. Teddy, yeah. I, I liked watching. He's Carolina. the number one backup quarterback in the NFL. A hundred percent. hundred percent. So now we're getting to the goods. We got Denver Broncos at number nine. Picking oh, tackle. R- Rashawn Slater. So a bunch of Cowboys nations also want us to take this guy if he's around Slater because we do need offensive tackles, but. And then it's just, I think at that point it would be, you're picking your lane. Are we just pumping this our is, offense? This is how it goes. You have, you have a, uh, the Cowboys will have their board up, right? And they'll have their best players, right? They'll have, they'll have their top, you know, 20 players for the first round. And if for whatever reason their num- their top guy is available, it doesn't matter who it is, what position he plays, they're taking them. That's what they're going to do. That's just what the Cowboys, uh, that's what they'll do. Yeah, I know. I've seen draft day starring Kevin Costner. I know how I know how a draft. <laughs> yeah, works. well, have you ever tuned into Jerry Jones's mega yacht and watched him draft a la last year? Uh, Son, Jerry, n- imagine no, I being haven't. on that yacht in the in the nineties. <laughs> just get the picture up of him on there. Sorry, <laughs> he just got it. Anyways, the Cowboys take Sir Sir Tan yeah. at ten there, and, and, and that's, that, what that's what we're kind of expecting. <laughs> get, we're seeing get a picture that, yeah. of Jerry Jones. Here. We spent all this time talking about all these other teams, <laughs> and we get to the Cowboys. I'm like, yeah, they're gonna yeah, take fuck this guy. They're yeah. taking Sir Tan. <laughs> so Jerry it's, Jones, yacht. just to get to yacht. Yeah, but get a pic. No, before you look at it, do get a picture of him uh, last year in the draft. Jerry Jones draft year. 2020. <laughs> there he is. There's our ball. Oh, look at him. That's where he. That's where he drafted from. I'm all alone. He I looks have lost. Twenty naked girls on the other side. And of then this now, camera. now let's look at what the yacht actually looks like. Okay. Now we go back. And then after we look up at the picture of it, let's see how much it costs. <laughs> okay, okay. Holy shit! The Rona's it's a, it's gonna a, get me. It's a super yacht. <laughs> that is a fucking. That and, is a. And boat. you know, you know his. Uh, you know his. Two hundred and fifty uh, million super yacht. Oh my gosh! You know he lands his uh, chopper on there too. When I was in Dallas, it was funny because you could see you would see a couple choppers coming in, and obviously all of them have uh, different choppers. Jones family. Yeah, yeah, each of them have their own. Well, they have Jones family he, picnic. He actually has his uh, Cowboys chopper. The chopper. And just real quick, what's so good about this kid? And and, and I'm going to throw on his uh, pro day highlights while we watch. There's one real, real. Well, I honestly think we we watched it earlier. Oh, we did watch it. We, watched, we watched it earlier. And what I think um, really stands out, he's really just a gifted athlete. He's 6'2", so that's kind of the way the NFL is going with cornerbacks. They're kind of getting these long, rangy guys that kind of look like wide receivers. He's fast. Like four four six isn't gonna. It's not like making the four two or four three headlines that some forties do. But he can also bench press, right? So this guy's just an over, overall athletic freak, right? Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right, right. And because you're gonna want him to be coming up, we gotta have that strength. But we got that length. He's an S. He was the SEC uh, Player of the Year. The guy can play football. And if they if they do go Sertan, I'll be super happy and I'll I'll double down and get his jersey. All right, we got this one last thing. Yep, we had a, uh, we had a poll. I'm gonna have to stop this audio. So it's why not... you don't want YouTube playing in the background. I just you know, <laughs> it's like when you're talking to someone and they've got the TV on. You're like, are you even? Can you? Or they're me? watching something on their phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Then yeah, I always totally. throw it. I throw. I always throw it. Yeah, and then I just pulled it out. <laughs> <laughs> see if they're actually listening. Okay, but we did. We we're, we love. We're loving the the uh, engagement. Yeah, love the Instagram engagement. So we had a, a a poll go. I posted it. I believe it was this morning, or maybe yesterday. I don't know. I was hung over this morning. Um, but I <laughs> it was I just, up before today. Was it? So I just or, or, but, yeah. I just wanted to ask Cowboys Nation who we thought was going to have the better 2021 uh, season in our wide receiving core because it's a hot topic. Our wide receiving core. We got a good one. So I put up CD Lamb versus uh, Amari Cooper, and it was kind of it was kind of weird because the the poll itself, CD Lamb won the results at about fifty six percent to 44 percent and uh but slight in my, edge slight edge but in my comments so like the people that because i also posted a picture to the the, the feed right the comments was all cooper really so now was that because n- no one really gave much of a reason they just said well they did Co- cooper's just he's in his he's in his prime and he, the guy is a great r- wide receiver he's a great route runner he, uh cd lamb plays in the slot also so he might not be on the field every single play 
But no one, I mean, it's Instagram. No one, they just go coop and then they're expecting you to say something else so they can tell you to go fuck yourself. Right, right. right. It's the internet. <laughs> no one really in, gives a reason. In some real broken text. Right. So that, but the poll did say CD Lamb. Uh, the comment said, Cooper, who do you guys think? Who, what do you guys think? Opinions outside? Because you guys don't have a biased opinion, which I like. Well, you, you, you might, might soon. Know. Listen. I'm a Raiders fan. I do Ooh, have a biased opinion yeah, you for do. Cooper. Yeah, but you now, might have it on the opposite. The thing about Cooper is, from what I've seen, he's just a boomer bust type of player. I don't know if disappears. that's the game plan or or if that's just... Yeah, exactly. He disappears. I like C.D. Lamb's ability. He A couple of his catches were just um, just fantastic last year. Cooper, to me... I don't know. I just feel like if, if I'm going to replace someone, I could probably replace Cooper. And you I think prob- so. I think so, yes. Really? Yeah, I know. But I, again, I'm probably biased because of he was see, on the Raiders I, I and think we lost I, him. I, if I had to pick, and I'm a diehard motherfucker, I pick Cooper. Really? Ad, and? what about you? You have no bias here. Yeah, I got no opinion. <laughs> well, <laughs> give it, just, just, just flip a coin <laughs> then. Flip a coin. Yeah, I'd say Cooper. Cooper, yeah. The okay. Bessie bros are against AJ on this but one. But you know what? And and we can wrap it up right after this. Gallup. Yeah, and actually, this is the funny thing. I did He's have... not even that... <laughs> I, I did have a few people comment just saying Gallup. Because, he, like, if we look at the numbers from last year, just real quick, Cooper... And I'll go Cooper, Lamb, Gallup. So, receptions, 92, 74, 59. Targets... 130, 111, 105. And, and that's on, Cooper on the top of these. Cooper spots. on the top. Yeah. Yards, uh, 1,114, 935, 843. But if we look at the averages, and yeah. this is, of course, going to play into the position that you're playing, though. 12.1 for Cooper, 12.6 for Lamb, and then 14.3 for, for Gallup. Gallup. Gallup's a home run hitter, man. Yeah. yeah. And he's going to hit it harder with Dak on the field. He will get more opportunities to go deep. Exactly. I mean, look... The, these numbers that we're looking at are, are based off of... Dalton, DiNucci, and <laughs> yeah. Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. So. Like, eh, yeah. You want to talk true. about That's who true. had the most COVID season and not without... like with Talking about like a, a, an, an asterisk skip season, it would be the Cowboys. Yeah. For sure. Or San Fran. But anyways... It's still nice to see. Or, or, or KC. Or KC. <laughs> Fuck KC. Anyways, boys, it was great again. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Tuesday always drops on Tuesday. Put it in your bucks. Big HUD, hit it!